Jeff Bien. I'm, I'm the police chief for the city of Rogers, Minnesota. One of the challenges we have is that we're a rapidly growing department faced with an ever-increasing call load, but decreasing ability to fund staffing levels. So one of the things that we discovered is how could we save staff time and become more effective in what we do so frequently, which is transcription or dictating reports or writing reports. And Dragon was brought to our attention, and we realized very quickly that we could save a tremendous amount of staff time and money as we transitioned over to this product. We have two clerical support positions here at the police department. We found on average that they were doing about 35 hours of transcription between the two positions every week. And one of the challenges we have is that our in-custody reports on Monday morning needed to be to the county attorney's office at 9 a.m. Staff didn't start till 8 a.m., so oftentimes we were paying overtime for staff to come in on Sundays to type reports, have everything transcribed so it could be down to the county attorney's office in a timely manner. One of the beauties of this transcription system is the ability to have the officers use Dragon to transcribe the reports in real time so that when the clerical staff arrives on Monday, everything is done, the case file is complete. One of the successes that we found in using the system is a need for uniformity. If you allow officers or staff to just type or dictate in any format, uh, you're going to find that your reports don't look the same from day to day. So we developed with support from Dragon templates that we asked that the officers use so that our reports basically look the same no matter which officer completed it. So I'm going to share my screen now and what you're going to see is a basic Word document and we're using a standard font with some bulleted points here that the officer can easily fill out. And what we did with uh, Nuance's assistance is we developed predetermined fields in the report so that instead of having to use a mouse or use any other part of the keyboard, the officer can merely tell the system, go to the next field, and the field will be generated, and the officer can then just use the microphone or their headset to dictate and fill that field in. So what I'm going to do now, this is a DWI report that we use. Uh, you'll see on the top it says Rogers Police Department Supplemental Report, and those brackets are our fields. So what I'm going to do is when I say next field, the system will take me to that next field and I'll be able to go in and, and dictate the report. So using a headset, I'm not using a handset, using a, a standard headset right now, I'm going to go ahead and start this report. Next field, 16007495. Next field, fourth degree DWI. Next field, James Alan Johnson, next field. Stephen Harvey Smith, next field. Jane Doe, next field. Minnesota license, 123 Adam Boy Charles. Next field. On May 5th, 2016, at 8.05 p.m., I was traveling westbound on Main Street approaching South Diamond Lake Road when I observed a vehicle directly in front of me that was crossing over the center line, period. I followed this vehicle for a distance of three blocks, comma, and noted that the vehicle crossed over the center line three times, period. The driver appeared to be slumped to his left, and there was no other person in the vehicle, period. Next paragraph. As I continued to follow this vehicle, I saw that it was operating at approximately 10 miles per hour beneath the posted speed limit, period. The driver continued to brake his vehicle, even though there was no oncoming traffic or other reasons to slow or stop, period. New paragraph. I stopped the vehicle approximately one block south of 147th Street, period. I exited my squad and started to approach the vehicle, comma, at which time the driver took off at a high rate of speed, period. So just in that short period of time, I've dictated three paragraphs. There are some small things in here I might go back and change, and we encourage our officers to edit their reports but you're going to see that the accuracy of the transcription uh, was very, very good. Uh, and that's, there's very few things we have to go back and change. 
There are words we use in law enforcement, for example, here, horizontal gaze, nystagmus. Uh, we had to introduce that to the dictionary. Obviously, the system didn't know what nystagmus was. That's not a commonly used word. Uh, we use, also use for our breath test instrument, data master, or DMT. We've introduced that to the vocabulary uh, so that when the officers use these words, uh, the system will pick it up and know how to spell them. I can continue to tab down through this, talking about details, contact with driver, the driver's license check. The one nice thing about this form is that as the officer is dictating and going from field to field, it's obviously jogging their memory so that they'll remember to talk about the walk and turn test and the one leg stand and whether they gave a PBT and how the arrest went down. Once it's done, the officer edits it, makes sure that everything is accurate, and then we submit it into our record system. The other option I have outside of that template is to work directly in our records management system. Prior to sitting down uh, to do this today, uh, I actually took a call. I know it's rare for a chief, but sometimes we have to get out of the office and do things. Went over and checked a hazardous uh, incident that had been reported to us. This is a web-based application. This is LETG, our records management system. I'm going to go to the summary portion of that report. And prior to entering this report, our clerical staff downstairs had started uh, the incident for me. But I've gone to the scene. I've examined some things there. And I want to continue to, to finish this report. I put my cursor in the summary section of the records uh, incident here. And I'm just going to turn my mic on and finish this up. The chief of police responded to the scene, comma, and located the hazard, period. A large culvert which runs underneath the interstate was found not to have a secure entrance, period. Photographs were taken of the culvert and the entrance that leads underneath the interstate, period. A copy of this report will be forwarded to the city administrator and public works director for their review, period. It is suggested that some type of gate or closure be installed to prevent people from accessing the culvert and crawling underneath the interstate and coming out on the north side of the freeway, period. It should be noted that there is a creek that flows into this culvert, but due to the low water table, there's only one to two inches of water in the culvert at this time, period. So you can see without hitting my keyboard, by merely speaking into a microphone, and by the looks of it, without any, with one small um, typo here, obviously there's a couple of different types of gates. And it gave uh, gate as in walking gate, and I needed gate as in gate or closure. I've done that. I hit the update button, and my summary is done. Anywhere you can put your cursor, you can take your microphone, turn it on, and dictate your report. Uh, we could do this in any part of our records management system that you can see on the screen now, whether it's the summary, the location, uh, names, it doesn't matter. We can use our microphone there. So that's a brief, and I mean very brief, overview of what we're doing. Gives you an idea of how quick it is, how accurate it is, and, and how it can be a time saver for our department.